When we first spoke about that technology and the development, my first thoughts were, how cool is that? We will make objects fly. You know those things only from fiction, basically. What makes magnetic levitation as technology so unique is the contactless bearing we can realize within our mechanical system. Without any contact, we can overcome a lot of disadvantages we see in existing solutions. For example, we do not have any kind of stick-slip effects within the system, so the performance and precision of the system solely depends on the sensors and electronics we use and the combination of those, and we can achieve precision going down not only in the nanometer but also in the picometer range. Besides that, we have no abrasion within the system because of that contactless guiding. So we do not see any kind of wear and tear over a lifetime. That allows us to keep the performance of the system over the whole lifetime, even when we go for high duty cycles and high dynamics, for example. And without any kind of abrasion, we also have zero particle operation, allowing us to place the system in such delicate environments like ultra high vacuum or also high class clean rooms. We see solutions on the market being precise enough and clean enough, but not fast enough. We see solutions that are fast and clean, but not precise enough. And with this new kind of technology of magnetic levitation, we see a solution for serving all these needs together. When we finally assembled the first functional model and took it into operation, we saw a lot of very promising results. But seeing the system finally fly in a stable manner was really exciting to me even more so when we saw it performing according to our requirements. Right now we are beginning in the next phase discussing with our customers what are their special application needs so that we can align our technology roadmap for the next step of development with the special needs of their applications.